too much, I get all soul searching and weird. Today I wanted to talk about Baphomet Kuhn's video for rest. If you haven't seen it, I'll link it in the description. It's less than a minute long, so I'll wait here for you to come back here. Alright, welcome back. So yeah, something that happens as we get older. Ironically, especially if you have a love for games, movies, books, stories, and art, is that you've seen the same patterns hundreds and hundreds of times, and it can become less and less striking, eventually plateauing to just a general appreciation for these things. To combat this, creators either do things that are unique and creative, or they refine and master common tropes. I think that Baphomet Kuhn did something that I'm not even sure I've seen before. The video starts off looking at some discarded mattress laying who knows where. Immediately, the colors of the grass and trees are so vibrant and colorful that it actually looks kind of beautiful in a way. And even though the idea of an abandoned mattress left in the forest next to a literal bag of trash is nasty, I mean, hey, if it's dry, it's still a soft bed that would be comfortable if you laid on it especially if you were tired. However, there's this very, very starch contrast between what is in the light and the pitch darkness behind it. The text gives us the option to rest here. If we say yes, we'd be essentially leaving ourselves vulnerable to whatever creatures are in that darkness. Normally, we could look to the music to tell us how to feel, but this contrast between beauty and unease is amplified by this slow, distorted low bass with a relaxing cherry tone on top of it. It actually reminds me of Sayonara, a song that played during one of the most emotionally impactful moments I've ever experienced in a game. I'd elaborate, but I don't want to spoil anything. And you wouldn't listen to me if I told you to play the game anyway. So, now, we lay down. Now we're looking up at the sky through the trees, and we breathe a sigh of relief because this is an entirely positive visual. Though the more paranoid among us might still be thinking about the darkness behind our head. But we ignore it because this is pretty nice. Someone just laid down next to us, but we don't turn our head. Again, that unease sets in because we have no idea who this person could be. Sure, they didn't attack us, but still. The music continues to play as we stare into the sky. Maybe that soft panic goes back to admiring the trees, or we keep trying to guess what's happening before suddenly they leave. There's nothing to worry about at all. They were even nice enough to lay down next to us, which is something really only close friends do. And when they suddenly leave, that's what it feels like we lost. Oh boy, that's a lot to experience in a 43 second video with no context given, which ultimately makes the experience more rich since we couldn't make any predictions. Normally in art, if we want an emotion to be felt, we make sure that everything supports and aligns itself with that theme. Darkness, ugliness, and pain, light, beauty, hope, enjoy. Obviously, these are very effective methods to invoke certain emotions, but sometimes having everything just constantly happy or constantly scary just sets a baseline where all of that effort is just as it should be and goes unnoticed, like your body acclimating to being in cold water. However, compare cold water you've been sitting in for a long while to the moment you just jumped into it. And whoa boy, the sensation is way more potent. The only thing I can compare this feeling to is in the movie Annihilation. Skip here if you want to avoid spoilers. It's a great movie you should check out. You have five, four, three, two, one. Still here? All right. There are several scenes that come to mind. The first is the human fungus mural in the pool where it appears that a man was slowly ripped apart by fungal growths from the inside, spreading his body across the wall. A very horrifying idea. However, doesn't it look beautiful? I mean, just as a piece of art? Vibrant colors and beautiful plants? 
There are even people that wish they could die in a way that decomposes them back into the earth, becoming nutrients for plants, trees, and animals alike, in a way being able to live in other forms of life. The second scene is actually much like the previous. The team of researchers stumble across a field of people who were turned into bushes. Again, a haunting visual. To see dead people frozen in time, standing up as if they were alive, is just uncanny. However, one of the researchers now realizing that her time to die was fast approaching, decides that she'd rather become a pretty plant person than die at the hands of the other horrors they had witnessed. And so we are treated to, again, this beautiful yet haunting scene. Going back to Forrest, in the video there is also constant contrasting, yet fusing between comfort and unease, beauty and darkness, but it's done so seamlessly that it isn't horribly jarring so that the experience just feels wonderfully surreal.